been creating works of art ever since I was a child. I first took a liking to multimedia works as an art student during my first year at Virginia, Virginia Commonwealth University. Now, I continue to do multimedia works, primarily focusing on recyclable and renewable materials. Today, I would like to show you guys how to turn everyday household common items that most people would consider trash into beautiful pieces of wall art. By doing so, I would like to allow you to save money while creating inexpensively, impress friends and family with these beautiful wall decorations, as well as add awareness to the, the importance of recycling. Okay, so what are we gonna need? First of all, you're going to need toilet paper rolls, 20, 30, however many you feel necessary for your art project. You are going to need a ruler, pencil, some scissors, um, a paint brush, some paint, and I suggest acrylic paint, water cup for your paint brush, a cup for your paint, and a hot glue gun. Okay, so where to begin? Firstly, you're going to take your ruler and your pencil, and you're going to lay it down on your toilet paper roll, having it, folding, having it folded in half, making sure you get good creases on there. And you will create lines like so, as many as the paper towel roll will allow. Next, you're going to take your scissors, and you're going to cut these into strips. And these will actually be your petals. Next, you are going to take your paintbrush and your paint, and you are going to paint each of the strips individually. I've already done some just for the essence of time. We'll go ahead and paint the inside of this one here just for a little show. Okay. And the reason I suggest acrylic paint here is because it dries relatively quickly and most of the time, depending on color, you do not need more than one coat. Alrighty, now that's all painted. We will set it off to the side and allow it to dry along with the others I've pre-done. During this period, you should plug in your hot glue gun, let it heat up. And while we're letting those dry and that heat up, I'm going to tell you some fun facts about the importance of recycling. As we speak, more than 19 tons of paper have already been produced. 324 liters of water is required to make one kilogram of paper. 10 liters of water is needed to make up one piece of 8 by 10 paper. Paper is about 50% of all business waste. To print a Sunday edition of the New York Times Dispatch, it requires 20 or 75,000 trees. Recycling one ton of paper saves around 682.5 gallons of oil. 26,500 liters of water and 17 trees. Uh, U.S. offices use about 12.1 trillion sheets of paper a year. With all the paper waste that we have each year, we could build a 12-foot high wall from New York City to California, which is pretty friggin' insane if you ask me. Anyways, all right, so those should be dry now. And I've already started here, you can see, um, we are going to take your hot glue gun and make little dots on either side. Take your dried toilet paper, paper towel roll, and just start going out in this fashion. You're starting to see a little bit of the shape of a flower here until you get... This is one I've done previously, or this one, and I chose to use an old earring that I had, and I do no longer have the other as a centerpiece, just making it a little different, and I use two tones of paint as well. All right, so what have we learned today? Firstly, I've showed you how to bring out your creative essence in a truly inexpensive way. Um, secondly, I have liked to would like to show I hope I have shown you how to use household items to spice up a wall or create awesome presents for friends and family. And thirdly, I'm hoping I brought awareness to the importance and need for recycling in America. So think twice before you throw away paper products. 
Please recycle and become more aware of the labels on these products before you buy them. Make sure you buy products that say they've already been recycled, been created out of recycled materials. Um, and this, by doing so, we can eliminate the overall tree and paper waste pandemic. Uh, do you really want to add to the emission of methane gas, which is about 25% more toxic than carbon dioxide? I don't think so. This is not something you want polluting our air supply. Is this really what you want your friends, family, even children breathing in? 